What's up guys, it's me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to week 3 of the GBA D-League. This week we are up against Jolt and the Toronto Raptors. Um, incredibly scary draft, incredibly scary team to try and prep for. Um, if you haven't seen my team builder, uh, please make sure you go check that out if you are interested in the teams. I'll give you a brief rundown of the, the well, my team that you can see on the screen. We've got Choice Scarf Raptor, we have got a physically defensive uh, Reggie Steel. Bulky offensive Crocodile, specially defensive uh, Skuntank, um, fast specially offensive Latias, and then uh, just a, like your standard normal Megalopony really. Um, looking at Jolt's team, it's, it's pretty much the team I feared. It's a team I expected, but there's not really many things I can do about it. I did mention in my team builder a lot that I felt like the matchup in this, um, this week is pretty dreadful on my behalf. Lopony has an okay time. Um, Crocodile can have a good time, that's for sure. Um, but otherwise, uh, I didn't really have any faith in anything else I could bring. Um, I, I did mention in the team build, I was very tempted to bring the Floatzel. Now, looking at his team here, the Floatzel would have been pretty handy because it would have hit the Diancy and hit the Nidoqueen Queen super effective. Um, it would have outsped the Mew and the Kangaskhan uh, and the Squalopede if he didn't have Protect. So, you know, looking back at my team, if I had managed to fit Floatzel in some way, it could have been a real big threat this game. Um, and when I spoke to Joel afterwards, he did recognise it was a threat, and he actually, I think he did have some prep for it, but um, he did realise how much work it could do. And, uh, you know, not people, f not many people actually um, prep for Floatzel, so um, it's a shame I didn't bring it, because I felt like it would have done really well against the team Joel brought. But, you know, it's the team that... I was fearing um, the Tornado Stouts beats my whole team apart from Lopany. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that other than Scarf Staraptor. Uh, late game Scolopede, there's literally nothing I can do about it because uh, its coverage is enough to hit my whole team. I believe I'm Shookerberry on my Reg Steel. That's the one way I have to really stop it. Otherwise, you know, Mega Horn hits Crook, Poison uh, Earthquake hits the Skun Tank, Mega Horn, <coughs> excuse me, kills Latias. Um, a lot might be able to do something. I'm not entirely sure about that. and a decently strong hit, especially if Swords Dance is up, you know, Poison Jab probably kill the Lop and the Staraptor, so that thing's really scary. Um, the Nido Queen, I've got a couple of things to hit. Um, you know, I've got the uh, I've got Return on Lop, I've got the Psychic on the Latias, and I've got the Earthquake. Um, and I've also got Brave Bird and Staraptor, so you know what, I'm, you know, if it's defensive, okay, I was really, really scared of offensive Nido Queen, because it just destroys my core of Clefable and um, Registeel. Obviously it doesn't do so much against Latias, but even then it gets access to Sucker Punch and that can do a huge amount of damage to, to Latias. And if it's weakened, you know, that Needle Queen can do some serious work to the rest of my team. So I was really scared of that. Diancy is a weird one. It's definitely something I expect him to bring. Definitely something which matches up against my team really well, and he did bring it. There wasn't really anything on my draft I could have bought I didn't feel that could have defensively checked this thing. Next he's got Mew, which I very much expect to be bulky defensive because it's his best way of answering Megalopony really. Return will do about a third, um, which he can obviously roost or sidekick afterwards, so you know, uh, it's a really good switch into the Lop. And then finally his Mega Kang, it's just fat, strong hitting offense, so I wasn't really sure what set, you know, Kangaskhan could be, but you know, there's only one way to find out and that's to get into the game. So we are challenged by Jolt. Cool looking trainer, by the way. Um, he does lead off with the Tornadus. Um, pretty expected, really. I wasn't sure if he's going to... I mean, he can just click U-turn if he wants some momentum. Um, I can scout and see if he's scarfed. I'm going to click U-turn myself. Um, whether that was a good idea or not, you know, it's it's in hindsight. Um, I do U-turn, get a little bit of damage off. Uh, I'm going to see if this thing is life orb, leftovers. Are, well, I can't even tell if it's uh, assault vest or anything at this point, but he does go for the hurricane. Um, and it doesn't even do half the skun tank. Now, I am specially defensive, but skun tank special defense that isn't the best. So I don't know if this is offensive or, or, or not. Um, I can't remember what the calcs were, but he does click U turn. So he reveals he's not choiced, which is good. That means out Lopany will outspeed. Um, I didn't really think he'd bring a scarf one because, um, you know. I, I'm pretty sure it can take any kind of hit. It's probably Yachi Barry. I do get the Pursuit playoff though, expecting the U-turn, which is quite nice. Um, in comes the Kangaskhan. Now, um, recurring theme of, of, of me at the moment is letting things die when I don't have to. I really, really wasn't expecting to click Return here, because I do have that Registeel in the back. Um, obviously, this thing can hit me with an Earthquake, can hit me with Fire Punch, hit me with like anything like a Power-Up Punch, you know, can do some good damage to my... Uh, 
to my registeel. But he actually does just click the return here um, and takes me out. Um, the one good thing about this is the aftermath goes off and he's down to nearly half, uh, maybe about 55, 60%. So uh, he, he's now in a, a range where Lopany can come in on it every single time and threaten it out. The only problem here is I have to go in Lopany because you know, I can do that. I, I could go into something like Staraptor and click Brave Bird, but he might have the Sucker Punch, and I don't want to be taking unnecessary damage on Staraptor where possible. I have to go into this thing. I'm going to click Return, because I know he's not going to stay in. There is no way he's going to stay in at all with that Kangaskhan. Um, so I'm going to click the Return, and as we'll see, this is a very fat Mew indeed, because the Return does about 30%. Um, and he has Rocky Helmet, so no leftovers, but... I know I can't stay in here um, because he might click Psychic, he could roost um, and I'll, I'll be a losing battle. So I go into Registeel. I think this is a misplay really because if I was expecting a Psychic move I could have gone into my Crocodile um, but he does just click the roost so you know if I'd gone into Crocodile there it's then a free knockoff for me. Um, I don't think he really has a knockoff switching on his team that he'd really appreciate or would appreciate so um, that would have been a better play and then I just completely blank out the fact he might have Taunt so we've seen Taunt and Roost and I can't get my rocks up. The only offensive move I have in this thing is Seismic Toss, and he reveals the Super Fang, which, to be honest, isn't something I even considered. I didn't even realise Mew could get it. Obviously, I know Mew can learn all the TMs and things, but um, I, I don't know if Super Fang's like a, a an old tutor or a TM from Gen 1, thanks to the you know the whole yellow, red, and blue transferring thing. So um, he's now crippled my Registeel severely, which is uh, annoying. I'm going to pull the switch out into Crook here because I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know if he might click Roost, but he clicked Super Fang again, so I don't know if he just wanted to really get my Crook low, um, but I do get the Pursuit play on this uh, this Mew, and this Mew is now no longer a switch into the uh, Lopany, so Lopany is starting to look a bit better now, but again, Crook and Registeel are now down to like quarter, 30% maybe uh, in health, and that's not ideal. I have to switch out here because Crook is going to be really helpful still against his team, against the uh, Mew and the... Um, Nido Queen, he just clicked the U-turn here, that is to be expected really. Um, but I had to bring this thing in because it was the only thing that can take a hit, but it does just kind of bring in anything um, that he really wants. Uh, like like this Kangaskhan for example, it's just going to kill me with a fire punch. There's nothing I can really do about this. I am physically defensive, I don't even take the first one, so you know. It's a very offensive Kangaskhan. Um, uh, but I do go down, but this does give me my switch into my Megalopony. So I'm pretty safe to click... Um, I think I'm going to click Drain Punch here. Yeah, because I'm pretty confident he's going to have Protect on this thing. Jolt's a very good prepper, and he knows that I'll be running High Jump Kick, because who doesn't? But I'm, I was confident, I hadn't seen it yet, and he would probably bring it. So, click Drain Punch so I don't get the recoil. So, that was, that was a nice smart play by me, at least. So, in comes the Needle Queen. Um, I click Drain Punch again, because I, I don't want to play around with this threat in front of me. And the Drain Punch does, like, nothing, really. Um... I don't have a switch into this thing anymore. Both my walls are gone, so any kind of offensive mon is gonna die, really, at this point. Um, I go into Latias because I'm confident I can take one hit. Um, he does go for the poison jab, and that's gonna do a huge amount of damage, um, just over half. Probably bulky um, with sheer force, because you know I'm not in defensive invested at all. Um, he's gonna switch here, though. He did have the sucker punch he did reveal to me, but I'm not sure if it would have killed me. Um, I am the, what's it called, the Soul Juice, so I'm just going to go for a Psychic. It does a lot of damage, as you can see. Um, I'm going to switch out, though, because I know this thing's going to quick U-turn, so it can probably kill me and get the Regenerator. So I'm going to go into Staraptor, expecting the U-turn, so I can take that easy. Um, so now Staraptor's looking in a half-decent position, really, um, unless he has a Scarfer of his, his own, obviously. Um, in comes the Diancie, though. Now... This is where having a float saw would be really nice because I have nothing, absolutely nothing, that can touch this Diancy. Uh, close combat does a decent amount. Um, I don't believe is he le is he leftovers? I can't remember. He goes to the Diamond Storm, which I was fully expecting, really, um, and it does actually take me out. So I don't know if this is a defensive or an offensive uh, Diancy or not. But he does get the defense raise, which is really frustrating because I now have no real good way of taking this thing out at all. It's looking really grim for me at this point. Um, I'm going to click Energy Ball because that's the best thing I have to hit this. Uh, I could get the Special Defense drop as well, but he does click the Moon Blast, and that is obviously going to take out my Latias. So this is basically just a sacrifice fest against this. Uh, this. <laughs> this. Uh, I can't even think what his name is. Diancy, that's the one. 
It's just a sacrifice, like a sacrifice fest at this point. I bring in this thing and I'm like, okay, is Earthquake gonna kill? Probably not. Um, he's got the plus two and I don't know what his item is. It's probably a sugar bear. I'm gonna click knock off in case he switches, but nope, he stays in and uh, he takes that really well. Thanks to the plus two. And the sugar berry uh, is knocked off. So he was sugar, so he would have taken an earthquake, I would imagine, because Diancy's fat. So Moonblast comes in and Crook just dies uh, again. Um, so we've only got we've only got Megalop left. Now, Megalop can definitely do some good work this game. Um, we can see that. Not a problem. I'm gonna click fake out here because I have to. Um, and I actually get crit, which is really useful because I'm pretty sure high jump kick is now a guaranteed kill, or drain punch is a guaranteed kill. Um, so I'm going to click the high jump kick because I need to just get some damage off on something. Um, he brings in the Mew to sacrifice it, and of course I miss the high jump kick. So while I was at high health, um, Lopany could have potentially done some stuff, but the fact I missed that just kind of seals my fate, really. Um, I'm going to click return. It's going to kill the Mew, yay. Um, so it's not a complete 6 0. Um, but all Jolt has got to do now is go into the uh, Scolopede. Click protect once if he has it. I'm pretty sure he'll take a hit. Uh, if I had stealth rocks up, I think return might have actually been a kill here. But because I haven't got the stealth rocks up, uh, he will take that quite easy. Um, and the poison jab is obviously going to finish me off. So we have had our pants pulled down. I have been pushed and bent over forwards by Jolt, and we will lose 5 0. Completely different game to what I had against uh, him before in the PPL where I did win. I very much didn't expect him to play like he did then because he bought a fat team, some, some stall that game. Very much wasn't expecting it this week and I was expecting what I got to be honest. Um, I know it sounds bad but I kind of went in with a negative mindset because I knew his team matchup was so good against mine. And there were just ways I, you know, I had I had two things which I wanted to bring, Lop and Crook, the rest were just... I need to bring something so I can deal with these things, but if I bring this, I'm then weak to that kind of thing. So, um, you know, I, I, I can't blame it just on team matchup. I did get unlucky with the high jump kick miss at the end. Um, I did get unlucky with the diamond storm boost. Um, otherwise, I would have then just bought in Crook originally and just clicked Earthquake um, and, and got some more damage before the Latias. So, you know, um, there were some hacks which went Jolt's way, but to be honest, it didn't really have any sort of um, effect on the outcome of this game. So, good game, Jolt. Um, I would say I enjoyed it, but I, I really didn't because I got completely destroyed. But make sure you check out the links below um, for his Twitter and his uh, YouTube. Make sure you check out his site. It'll probably be a lot more enjoyable than mine. Um, but uh, thank you for watching this video, guys. Uh, just trying to think. I wanted to say something else, but I can't think what it is now. So thank you for watching. Make sure you leave a like and a comment and whatnot. And I'll see you next week for week four versus Daneki and the uh, Rosa Raidenbergs. So thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.